Life is short. But do you know the shortest classical game in World Championship match was played between Vishwanath Anand and Boris Gelfand with Boris Gelfand resigning on move 17. And shortest classical game between two grandmasters only lasted 4 moves with White resigning the game. Even you 1100s can't lose on move 4, or can you? So these are the things we will cover in this video so let's really jump into World Championship match. Again for the introduction, this matchup was held in round 8 of the World Championship match in the year 2012 between legendary 5-time world champion Vishwanath Aran and legendary grandmaster Boris Kelfman. So let's see how Vishy made Boris resign on move 17. Anand has a white pieces and he opens the game with d4. Boris replied with knight to f6 and standard c4 and here Boris chooses g6. Here Boris is aiming at knight to c3 and d5 to go for the groundful defense as he is one of the experts in this opening. But Vishy came prepared and plays f3 which is an anti groundful defense. Now Galfan goes for c5 and Vichy took the space with d5. We have d6 and e4. So White is claiming a great center with f1 protecting e4. So let's see how the game goes from here. Black plays bishop to g7 and White goes for knight to e2. Now Black castles and Vichy plays knight e to c3 which looks like a peculiar move but it is the best engine move so Vichy has come prepared. And here Boris plays knight to h5 and he is provoking g4 so white pawn structure becomes less intact. But Vichy goes bishop to g5 and bishop to f6 by Gelfand and trades off a bishop. And now Vichy plays queen to d2 so he's aiming at h6 and also preparing g4. And Gelfand stops one of the ideas with f5 and Vichy doesn't care about castling and plays e takes f5. Black takes back with the bishop and now Vichy plays g4 and it looks like he is winning a piece but not really because after rook to e8 check and king to d2 Boris has bishop takes knight. So Vichy takes back with the rook and Galfan plays the insane blunder with queen to f6. So what Galfan is saying if he takes my knight I will take your rook and Vichy says ok do it. So Vichy takes the knight and Galfan grabs the rook but he misses just one move. Queen to f2 and here Boris Galfan resigned the game. Because his queen is getting trapped after bishop to h3 but there is a way to save the queen but you have to give up your knight and you will have a completely losing position as a black. This was impressive but you know what is more impressive grandmaster resigning on move 4. This legendary matchup happened in the Paris in the year 1924. Between two legendary players, on the white side we have Amity Gibbard who is 4 time French champion and with the black grandmaster Frederick Lazard. So let's see how this match ends in 4 moves. White opens the game with d4 and knight to f6 by Lazard. And now Amity chooses knight to d2 and here Lazard gambit e5. So white takes the pawn and black goes knight to g4. And here every move is ok for white except the one which MAD played which is h3. Because here black plays knight to e3 and white resigned the game. If you take with the pawn queen to h4 leads to a checkmate and if you don't you are losing a queen. So share this video with your friends and family and subscribe for the support. So have an excellent health and see you soon all.